Hello everyone. Welcome to Rob John Spear Reviews. I'm back again. Today we're doing a 16 ounce tool glass. Put in this frost free freezer for six for uh put in the frost free freezer for 20 minutes. And today we're doing a 16 ounce can. Also put that can in a 16 ounce uh put that 16 ounce can also in a frost free freezer. Also for 20 minutes, alright? Today we're doing. I've done this brewery before, but not this particular beer here, but I have had this beer at the brewery there in Livermore there. They were doing Shadow A IPA. Multima Beer Works from Livermore, California. Like I said before, it's Shadow A IPA. 6.8 ABV, I'll call by volume. 60 IBUs, are natural beer units. Canned on date, dig this. 2.26.19. It's only about 9 or 10 days old or so. Pretty cool or what? That fresh or what? Anyway, the hops are El Dorado, Citra. Summit and Simcoe. The notes, I found it on the internet there on uh, Tap Hunter, but I could be wrong here, but I'm going to take a guess anyway. Take my best shot at it here. And I'll taste it there when I open up the can, all right? Notes are uh, grapefruit, passion fruit, guava, and papaya. Now let's open up this can and see what we got, all right? Just pour it into the glass. Here we go. Looks pretty damn pretty good there, huh? All right. It's like a gold color. It's like a like a golden delicious apple color here. I'll stop on my head here and I'll pour the rest of it in the glass here. Want to have some extra room in there, all right? Got a little bit. About a finger and a head, a finger and a head, a finger and a head of head here. All right, and filtered. You can see through it there. You see through the light there. It's pretty good there. Now let's show the bubbles there. All right, nice bubbles galore there. That's what you're looking for. A nice double, a uh, nice single IPA. All right, or any kind of light. Or any kind of IPA, all right? Now, first toast of day here. Cheers, everyone, and enjoy. Double thumbs up, and another double thumbs up. Excellent, outstanding single IPA. Now, let's, uh, I mentioned the notes here. I mentioned I found it on, on uh, Tap Hunter on the website there. Now, I mentioned the notes here. Let's see, I actually taste the notes what I said, all right? What I found, I should say, all right? Definitely taste the grapefruit. Also, taste the passion fruit, also. And what else do we taste here? Definitely taste the guava, and see if there's anything else that we got here to taste. I do you believe I taste some papaya also? And what else? Maybe one more. I do believe it tastes hence a pineapple. That's my wild guess on that one there. The other ones I didn't guess that there. I had to look it up there. But this one, I'm taking a guess on the pineapple, all right? I could be wrong, but this is what I taste. That's my honest opinion, all right? Now, let's pour the rest of this. Uh, nice IPA. There's me and the can here into the glass here, shall we? Here we go. There we go. Should get every one, every last drop out of the cans more difficult than bottles. Excuse me. Very great beer. IPA, I should say. Last drops in here. Like I said before, perfect pour. Now we about have a half a finger ahead here. And still unfiltered there. Alright. Now let's, uh, 
check out something here. I turn my little uh, my computer desk lamp on here. Now, let's see if we can see the uh, bubbles there. Inside the glass. Yes, we can. All right. We're a little more closer here. Let's see. There we go. You can see the bubbles from the bottom of the glass all the way up to the top, down below the foam. As I saw show that out there, I want to make sure I saw it on there, all right? No big deal. Nice bubble score there. That's what you're looking for in a nice single IPA. I mentioned it before earlier, but I like to repeat myself sometimes. It's my idea, all right? It's my, uh, what I want to do. What I say it goes because I'm the beer reviewer, all right? Nice uh, foam stuck in there. I'll make you know it's lacing here, all right? Now, Let's do a, oh, by the way, uh, don't forget here. Uh, this is beer review number 262. Number 263 is still in there at, at the uh, store there, so I don't know what it's going to be, but you'll be pleasantly surprised. Just stay tuned and watch me, all right? Anything else going on here? Yes. Uh, okay. If you want to purchase a single 16 ounce can here, you can pick up a total wine in Pleasant Hill on Bus Creek Avenue down the street from Pleasant Hill Bart. Like I said before, it's a single 16 ounce can, $4.99. If you want to pack a four pack of these babies up here, $14.49. Round it off. It comes to about $3.62 a can. That's pretty good in that's pretty good, damn good price, I think. It's cheaper. It's about a dollar and a, about a dollar and a half cheaper than uh, buying a single for uh, for four forty nine. No, sorry, four ninety nine for a single can. It's cheaper buying a four pack there. Break it down, like I said. All right, three sixty two a can. That's a great deal in itself there. Anyway, tell them that Rob Johns from Rob Johns Beer Reviews from YouTube sent you there. Ask for April Anderson. She'll hook you up there. If she's not there, ask for Jake. He's a beer salesperson there on the sales floor. It'll help you out, right? Get that out of the way there, all right? Now, anything else going on here? Yes. Time is 4.45 p.m., 3-9-2019. Saturday, late afternoon, or early evening, whichever you prefer. All right. Now, let's do ratings here, shall we? I recommend this beer here. I buy this beer again here. Uh, before I do that there, before I make my final uh, decision and judgment here for the rating here of this beer here today, this IPA I should say here today, uh, I no longer go through Beer Advocate, Rate Beer, or Untapped. I do my own ratings there, that way I get more views, more subscriptions, and more comments there, alright? Anyway, it's a taste here, make my final decision, final decision, what I say goes, alright? Since it's got the uh, ABV, alcohol by volume, and the IBUs, International Bitter Units, and the can on date, 226.19. My honest opinion, I'm going to give another sip here and make sure. I give this baby, honest opinion, a B. Plus. It's my final decision, a B. Plus. Right? Anyway, anything else going on here? Yes. I prefer frosting glass over a chill glass. I believe frosting glass, the beer stay cold longer, 20 to 30 minutes longer over a chill glass. Of course, that's my opinion. It's also your opinion. It's also my choice and your choice, all right? Now, now should I sip it or should I chug it? 
This time it's my choice. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to check it. <sighs> Great single IPA. Tastes like a 7 percenter, but it's only about a 6.8. All right. Anything else going on here? Uh, I think that's about it here. I think. Anyway. Uh, Noah, I forgot one more important thing there. We could toast to Stephen Sotari. He's a founder and also master brewer of Ultimate Bear Works out there in Livermore, California. Cheers, Stephen. You make wonderful single IPAs. Keep up the good work there and hope to meet you very soon there. Cheers, Stephen. And enjoy. And Stephen, sip it. Stephen, I give you a double thumbs up and another double thumbs up. Uh, I'll be finishing this beer out in the porch, I guess, here. It's raining right now here out in Pleasant Hill. Anyway, uh, you know what magic words are in all my videos. Specials, screw-ups, top 10 videos, beer mail samples, tons and tons of talking, ten, ten, tons and tons of making mistakes, and ton of talking while I'm doing the videos, of course. Time for a frosted cold one. Double hands, out. Don't forget to sip it. Sometimes sugar. It's your choice, and so it's my choice. Bye bye. See you on the flip side. Have a wonderful afternoon, a wonderful evening. Enjoy, and that's it.